Welcome to the Marine Midland Arena for the annual Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame. A dinner like this should start and end in the same day. You know, for the last three and a half weeks, people were telling me, well, we can't see you. Uh, you need rabbit ears to see you. So I got these about three or four weeks ago. And they did honor me at the Dunkirk High School banquet, and I was very proud to be honored there. They uprooted a tree in my honor. I want to congratulate all the recipients that are going to be coming up here. And you too, Jill Bear. I know I look a little fat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what is known as the stopwatch. Very uh, important thing in rowing and also to getting this speech over with. For two days, I've been driving everybody in the office, my family, anyone who gets near me. But what will I say tonight? Now, if you went to Canisius, <clears throat> I'll slow down a little bit. I'm not going to, lucky for you all, uh, give any speech except to say uh, what a thrill it is to be in Buffalo's uh, Hall of Fame. I'm from this area. I grew up playing my amateur hockey with the Amherst, uh, the Amherst organization. I remember those who came to find glory, and they found freezing water, green hair, and red eyes from chlorine. My athletic years seem so long ago. I guess that's a sign of old age, 40 years. I can't even remember what the hell I played. So I'm ready to make a comeback. Honey, I watched my wife over there. She jumped out of her seat. I'm only kidding. My speed, they said it was something I, I had when I was a player. I sure it was. When you come from a family of six, you had to get to the table fast if you wanted to eat. I had a parent tell me during a parent meeting, coach, make sure you wear your waist high rubber boots and be prepared for anything. Only those words of the mother's comfort can give a son. You dumbass, why didn't you call a timeout with nine seconds to go? You just keep going, you keep playing. On these sports, uh, you have high moments and you have low moments. And when I recall those precious moments in time, doing what I loved, I feel so lucky and grateful, and I'm truly blessed to be part of such an incredible sport. I just, this is a perfect place for me, and I always I appreciate what you've done, because I've got tons of awards, you know, from everyone that's played sports. It's sort of fun to be a golf pro from Buffalo, because that always gets a little look, so I get to explain how great it is up here. I'm proud to be a Buffalonian, will always consider myself a Buffalonian, and uh, uh, this is a tremendous city. But there's one other thing I like about Buffalo. I like the feeling, Paul, do you mind? <laughs> I like the sense of tradition here. I'm here in large part because of the work of other people. Yeah, I played 18 years in the NBA, but uh, you know, without support, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that. Many names come to mind of people that have helped me in my career. I'd like to thank the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame. Kathy Gleason. My sister Molly. My mother and father. My kids. Eileen Polian. You, everybody on the committee. And Diane Ace for that, uh, making me look like Robert Redford. I want to thank my mother, who's 96 years old, and I hope watching here, the day I got inducted, I ran home, gave her a nice kiss on the forehead, said, Mom, you've just been kissed by the newest inductee in the Buffalo Greater Sports Hall of Fame. She said, terrific. Take out the garbage and let the dog out. Forever enshrined in the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame.